Its mission is to track down and arrest some of the most violent fugitives from justice from across the nation and right here in our region. They operate in stealth mode, but the results of their work often come to light with the capture of suspects in high profile cases. And tonight the I team takes a close up look at the United States Marshall Fugitive Task Force. Lead investigator Andy Mahalschik joins us live tonight from Wilkes-Barre with more on the story. Andy. Well, good evening, Nick and Ken. The U.S. Fugitive Marshals Task Force works very closely with police departments like Wilkes-Barre to hunt down fugitives from justice. And the I-team gained rare access to the person who coordinates those operations, the U.S. Marshal for the Middle District of Pennsylvania. Behind every one of these fugitives, nearly in every case, there's a victim. And we must not forget that fact. And so our effort is to try to bring these guys to justice so that those victims have justice. And that is the bottom line. So says Martin Payne, the U.S. Marshal for the Middle District of Pennsylvania. This wall inside the Marshal's office in the federal building in downtown Scranton contains the photographs of the 15 most wanted fugitives from around the nation. Payne oversees the task force, which covers 33 counties in the Commonwealth. The key word to this task force is fugitive, which means the individual knows that he or she is wanted. And an individual who's wanted doesn't want to go to jail. So it takes a, a great skill set to apprehend an individual. And uh, these fugitive hunters uh, are known throughout the district, throughout the territory. Marshal Payne says the task force helped track down and arrest two fugitives from justice connected to recent crimes in northeastern Pennsylvania. This past weekend, they apprehended Jason Johnson in Miami, Florida. He's wanted in connection with a double homicide in Wilkes-Barre on January 30th. And late last month, the marshals helped arrest David Fulwaller in East Stroudsburg. He was wanted in connection with allegedly firing shots at two Pittston police officers a week earlier. If you're a local or state agency that you kind of have a feeling this individual has left the area, well, we have these resources throughout the country, and you know that if you come to us, that expertise will be applied no matter where it is in this country. And that's a perfect example of the cooperation uh, with the task force. Wilkes-Barre Police Chief Joe Coffey reacting to the weekend arrest of Jason Johnson in Miami. We've had officers that are assigned to the Fugitive Task Force. Um, what it does for us is it's a force multiplier when we have high profile cases or if we're trying to locate somebody that's going to leave the area and escape to uh, other areas of the country. Now this is really not a very large specialized unit. Marshal Payne says that about 50 specially trained officers are part of this unit. Now they'll also deputize local police officers and state troopers when those marshals are looking for fugitives in those in their respective areas. And each year, Payne says, they guess they arrest about 1,000 fugitives in the middle district of Pennsylvania. Reporting live for the IT at Wilkes-Barre Police Headquarters, Andy Mahalshik, Eyewitness News.